Hello everyone, this is Davin Reddy. In this video, we'll talk about how to create a simple Spring MVC application. So as we progress in this video or in the tutorial, we'll go for, we'll first create a simple uh, MVC application, which is Spring MVC application. Then we'll move towards the complex part of it. Then we'll move towards how to deploy, deploy that app on OpenShift server. So before knowing how to or before starting with this video, there are some prerequisites. First, you should know what is Spring Core. Okay, so basics of Spring. I'm not saying you have to be expert in Spring, but the basics of Spring will do. Second, you should know what is Maven. Or if you even if you don't know Maven, you can just pause this video, go back to my uh, go back to this channel. In that channel, I have I have one video on MVC. In, in fact, I have sorry, I have two videos on Maven. So you can refer those videos and come back to this video. Uh, Maven is not that difficult even if you don't know Maven I will give you some glimpse of it in this video but to just to make you you know more comfortable you can watch that video now uh, so now let's create an application uh, initially you will find it bit difficult to understand why we have all this flow but trust me once you learn this concept once you create your own example or own implementation for this exam for this uh, spring mvc it will be awesome you love this concept so let's start with the uh, application itself without wasting any more time so let's create a new project now basically whenever you say you want to create a new project for web so since spring, spring mvc is a web framework right so instead of directly uh, creating a web project since we want the project structure we want lots of libraries for spring so instead of going for normal project, we'll directly go for a Maven project. So using so Maven is a build tool. So using Maven, you'll be getting lots of uh, libraries from Maven repository. You'll be getting a project structure, what you need. And even if you in future, if you want to add a new library, you can simply edit your, uh, uh, what you say, the configuration file, you will get new libraries. Again, how to do that, we'll see in the video. So just select a Maven project here and say next. Now it will ask you for a default location. We'll say we'll set the default location as it is. Now in this you will be getting lots of uh, options. So whenever you see a term called as arc type in Maven, this is a project structure, or you can see the architecture. Now if you want to create a simple code of application, you can select arc type quick start, or if you want to create a web application, you can select arc type web app. Okay, since we want to create a web application here, we'll select web app. Okay. Now let's go for next. Uh, it will ask you for a project. Uh, it will ask you for a group ID. So group ID is basically a package name. Okay. So you can uh, you can mention any package name here. So we'll say com dot uh, Since I have doing this project, maybe I have done this two two more two three times. That's why I'm getting this com dot for the for for your project. You will get this blank. So make sure you enter com dot or whatever the package name you want. Next is artifact ID. Here you have to mention your uh, project name. So we'll say this project is maybe demo uh, MVC. Okay, just for any you can have any name. We'll say demo MVC here, and then click on finish. Now once you click on finish, it will create your project. This is a Java web project which is which is built using Maven. So this is the Maven structure here. Okay, and this is the most important file for Mavens, which is pom.xml, which stands for Project Object Model. Now, you can see there are some errors. Uh, now, since this is a web application, you need a web server. So, I need to link my application with a web server. So, I have to right click here and go to properties. There will be option of target targeted runtimes. Now we have, uh, so I have already have a Tom, Apache Tomcat version 8.0. If you don't have any uh, web server, you can simply click on new. It will give you some some choice here, uh, Tomcat 7, Tomcat 6. Depend upon your Eclipse version, so check the suitable Tomcat version available. Then click on next. Uh, it will give you option of, you can download Tomcat from internet and you can simply browse it to link. Otherwise, you can, if you don't want to do all those tasks by yourself, you can just click on download and install. It will automatically download the Apache Tomcat version and it will, you can directly link it. And that's it. You, you will get this, uh, you will get a, a runtime here. Since I already have a runtime here, I will click on, I will check it and 
okay so once i click on okay you can see we, we don't have any errors now uh, this is the main file you have the main folder uh, in this you'll be having two things one is your web app and resources you can also create a java file uh, in this web app i already have index.jc page just to verify that everything is working fine i will run this application i will say run as the non server okay I, I i have to choose the server here i will click on next so that yeah so the app is there click on finish it will ask you to restart the server it will take some time depending upon your uh, machine speed and you can see we got the output as hello world now, i don't want to view it in an internal browser so this is the internal browser for eclipse i want to view this in the external browser which is the browser for maybe google chrome or firefox so i will simply say window uh, web browser i will select uh, default web browser which is my chrome if i'm not wrong again if i run this application uh, click on finish okay let me close my other things here okay so that's hello world here right so we got hello world now uh, i want to add some more functionality i want to create a simple maybe simple calculator or all those things uh, so before doing that what we need is to uh, when you do something in java so we require some uh, java code right so let's say you want to add two numbers so you have to of course uh, you have to of course insert a java code but it's always recommended to not use java code inside jsc page we need to create a servlet right for that, for that for that processing but why to create a servlet when you create a normal pojo and you can convert that pojo into servlet later on so how to create that uh, of uh, how to create that class which will do this processing is let me first create a form here okay so let me create a form so how to get a form we'll say will say it is a form okay and it will will have two input will say input type equal to text uh, we'll name this as t1 which will take the first value uh, i also need a break tag just so that i will see the next tag in the new line i will say input type equal to again text and we'll say name equal to t2 and that's br Cool. but we also need a button in which you if you click on that button it will call this second page so we'll say submit we don't have to mention the name it will directly take the submit name as it is and whenever i click on this button i need to call a servlet right we'll name time bin will name that servlet as uh, uh, maybe add something okay something in that add but we need to mention the extension also right so we'll simply or we'll not mention extension now we'll mention extension later okay so we need to call add so maybe this add is a servlet now what next now in order to convert your project into mvc application or spring mvc application you have to do some bottle what you say the uh, extra stuff okay so to do that extra stuff we need to first configure your project into a spring mvc project so it will take some time to configure your project so what we'll do is we'll do it in the next video okay in the next video we'll configure your normal project which is a normal project into a spring mvc project okay so time being so complete this work then go for the or you can just implement this thing in your own laptop then we'll move towards the next video so that you can follow me on so thanks for watching and make sure you you subscribe so that you will watch the entire tutorials